Hello fellow YouTubers, this is Blu-ray Maniac here coming at you from the Horoscope uh, channel and um, this week uh, I was uh, really looking forward to because um, this week we are covering all of the uh, Nightmare on Elm Street movies um, the original uh, seven and um, I you know um, my day obviously is Friday, the the fifth day of the week, so I get the fifth sequel, um, which is A Nightmare on Elm Street, Part Five: The Dream Child. And um, before I get into that, I just want to say, um, you know, there's just something about the Nightmare on Elm Street movies. It's a um, very '80s style franchise it's uh you know uh, it's different than halloween it's different than friday the 13th but yet all three of those you know what i'm talking about if you're a horror fan the all three of those franchises just have something about them that makes them very 80s and that's the kind of horror that i really enjoy um even though some of the sequels come off as you know cheesy uh sometimes unnecessary or whatever the fact is you gotta you gotta love all of them just a little bit um so i love the nightmare on elm street movies um so uh with that being said um i'm gonna get into uh what the fifth movie is about um okay so um this is the movie uh, right after uh, the fourth one which was called the dream master um, and Alice uh, comes back again and um, she uh, she's pregnant and for some reason uh, she starts having like these really weird uh, dreams, you know, um, surprise, surprise, but seriously, that, I mean, if you watch the movie, um, they, the way they shot the scenes with her dreams are, like, really bizarre and awkward, and the thing is, she doesn't know exactly where these dreams are coming from, now, bear in mind, she does not know at first that she's pregnant, and, um, as it turns out, um, Freddy is getting uh, into the dreams of her unborn child that's uh, still uh, growing inside her so uh, by getting in through the baby's dreams he can then affect uh, Alice and um, you uh, it, it's a really you know it's not the best sequel ever um, sometimes some of these uh, Nightmare on Elm Street's uh, had very comedic elements, and a matter of fact, all of them were kind of had had a little bit of comedy mixed in. Uh, I always thought of them kind of as like dark comedies, but um, you get to see um, Freddy. Uh, I think uh, you get to see, yeah, you get to see him uh, trying to manipulate the baby into thinking that he is the baby's father um, and of course uh, his Freddy's mother uh, makes an appearance in the movie uh, trying to stop him and um, it's uh, and then there's a there's a fight between um, Freddy and uh, Alice uh, towards the end and there, there's a really bizarre uh, scene uh, where uh, the the baby who appears as a little boy at the end he is in this room with uh, Freddy uh, who happens to look like his father um, even though he's not and uh, Alice, his mother, and the room like flips upside down, and people are walking up the stairs, but the stairs are upside down. It's like really freaking bizarre. Um, 
this was definitely one of the more bizarre um, Freddy Krueger sequels. Um, but uh, all in all, like I said, it's not the best uh, Nightmare on Elm Street film by far, but what I will say is that um, I, I do have my favorite uh, Nightmare on Elm Street sequels uh, or, or movies in general. That would be the first one, uh, most obviously. Um, the third one, I, I really enjoyed the third one um, almost as much as the first one. But, but the third one I, I really enjoy also. And I enjoyed um, part four and uh, seven was uh, was really good the new nightmare but with that being said um, there's something to enjoy from each and every one of the movies in this franchise even the ones that you really don't like at all uh, and everybody has those one or two Freddy sequels that they're like oh why'd they make that those that movie or those two movies or whatever everybody has that one sequel they really hate or several sequels that they really hate but there is something from each of these movies that can be enjoyed because they all have that 1980s cheesy kind of horror vibe to them and um, I really enjoyed uh, this movie as much as it's not one of my favorites I still enjoyed it and um, if you're a real horror fan you're into 80s uh, slasher horror you like uh, good old-fashioned cheesy uh, horror flicks and if you're a fan of Robert England um, or even if you're not a fan of Robert England if you haven't seen the, this series you need to uh, check it out it is really definitely worth seeing and um, you know I just I really enjoy the entire franchise um, I know I didn't talk all about just the fifth film but you know I, I love the whole series so what can I say um, I own the UK uh, blu-ray box set and it actually is a really nice set it's almost virtually identical to the US version that came out um, do bear in mind though one thing if you're thinking about upgrading it's worth the upgrade um, but bear in mind that the only movie in the series that is on its own disc by itself is the first one. After that, they pair them, two movies to a disc. And then you have a, a DVD with bonus features at the very end of the box set in the back. Um, it'll be region one if it's the US version and if it comes from if you get the UK version it'll be a region two but um, beautiful box set anyway um, I love the franchise and um, you uh, heard my thoughts on uh, the fifth movie the dream child and um, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, until uh, next Friday um, you guys take care of yourselves, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.